Welcome to today's tutorial. So this to uh, okay. So in this tutorial, I will teach you how to make this rod shape protein in Graphic Abstract. It is one of the most simple components in Graphic Abstract. So what you need is your rectangle tool. So it is right here, and if you don't see it, and just a long click on this icon and you'll see rectangle tool. So now you use this uh, tool to draw a long rectangle like this one. Okay, uh, it's a little bit too wide. I will thin it down a little bit. Yes. Okay, now we need to fill in the colors. Um, to do that, we need to open our color window and our swatch, our swatches. There we go. And so to create a gradient, so I will open our gradient window here. Okay. And while selecting the object, I fill in a black and white gradient. Okay, this is apparently not what we want. We want a gradient from top to down. So you need to go here to angle, switch it to 90 degree. Okay, now we need to change the color. So to do that, we need to select the object and select the color that you want in the swatches window and drag it all the way to here and drop it in the box. And you can see the black has changed into the magenta that we want. Okay, the next step is to add another layer of color over here while maintaining the lighter color in the middle. So to do that, we need to go to this bar, gradient slider, and drag this white box into the middle uh, or you can use the location window to just type in 50 and it will be exactly in the middle of the slider. Okay, and move your cursor over here and you'll see there's a little plus, plus underneath the cursor. And while seeing the cross, click on it and you'll see there's an additional great uh, box appearing right here. Okay. And now what you need to do is simply dragging your color swatch into this, this box. Oops, I need to select the object. And I need to do it over again. 50, there you go. And drag the swatch into this box right here. Then you'll see a pretty much 3D cylinder shape appearing. Uh, and by comparing with the example, then you'll see the contrast is a little bit too high. The middle is a little bit too bright. So it now it looks almost metallic and we don't want that. So to, to find the lighter uh, rose color, we need to go to our color window, color guide, and here you will find a spectrum of colors that you can use and just drag this one over here while selecting the cylinder drag it over here okay it's a little bit too dim and I would use an uh, even lighter one there so now it looks more like the cylinder in the example okay and we need to create this part of the protein so I will simply copy it, copy paste, move it over here, shorten it, and then I will need to change the color in here. And how do we do that? It's really simple. So, by so uh, while selecting the object, just drag in new a new color that you want into the boxes. One, two, 
Okay, and then you need to change the one in the middle that will be here. Go to the color guide and you'll see your current color right here in this uh, white outlined box and click on it. Then the color, color guide will be switched into this space on the color that you were selected. Then here you are able to find a lighter version of the color and put it down. So yeah, that's how you create a cylinder shape protein in Adobe Illustrator. And I hope this can help you to make your graphic abstract. Right.